So, theoretically, this is recording. The first recording of Full Coverage Writers in 2015. You're here. God help us all. As you can see, we have Octodad, Dadliest Catch, set up. I have never played this. I have no idea what I'm in for. Actually, I do know what I'm in for. <laughs> what I'm in for first is a shot of 100 proof cherry wi uh, moonshine, not whiskey. Yes, it smells like cherries. Oh, it does. It smells delicious. It ha It is packed with cherries. A lot of cherries. Does not taste like cherries. The cherries don't taste like cherries. No. The cherries taste like burning fire. Much like what's on the screen right now. I'm actually beginning to wonder if this is what snozberries taste like. Snozberries. That would explain why the children didn't like it. Yes. <laughs> and why Willy Wonka would have them. Mmm. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Mmm. Gotta please the Oompa Loompa somehow. <laughs> but yes, the shot first. Shot. And then we figure things out. Are we gonna actually do it like a shot or are we gonna sip it down? I am. Shot it? I am. Okay. I tasted a little cherry in that one. Yeah, it's when you're chewing on the cherries that yes. it goes downhill. The shot is better than the cherries itself. Yes. And this is not our first drink of the evening. Uh, this would be our fourth? One, two, three? I've had one shot already. And two glasses of Bally's. This would be my fourth. I think I've had three shots of the cranberry mm -hmm. moonshine, which was only 40 proof. Only 40. This one's 100. Yes. So, basically our fourth drink of the evening. And I already have my fifth one up. Mm. <laughs> I do not. But. We can always get you a cherry. Hmm. <laughs> But yes, so you're going to attempt playing Octodad, essentially from the beginning. Yes. This is on my computer, and I've already beaten the game, but... And away we go. The story of Octodad. He's just running late. He's always late. Hopefully the sound volume is alright. Hopefully. Mr. Groom, the wedding is starting. Are you ready? <gasps> You're not even dressed! Make yourself presentable. She's waiting for you. Totally inconspicuous. Hmm. Just a regular average Joe on his wedding day. <laughs> Move the mouse to control Octodad's arm. Okay. So that's just back and forth. Yep, just move it around. And you have to clear all that crap off the table. It's not more of a bench than a table. Remove the cushions. Why are we sitting down? Click left to grab. Left click again to drop the held objects. So, okay, you just click and it holds on to it. Oh dear. That's good, so you don't need to hold down when you're clicking. There we go. Hey, a key. Unlock cabinet using key. I do not see a cabinet. Hold, right click, move your mouse, or use the scroll wheel to raise or lower. Okay. There we go. Well. <laughs> Alright, so the right level. Okay, so that's how that works. Oh, yeah. And this is just the beginning of the interesting Raise control up, scheme in Octodad. Move it forward. Hold down. What did you do? Wasn't me. <laughs> Hit the middle mouse button or space bar to switch into legs mode. Okay. Right mouse. Gradually lift the right leg. That's not gradual. That's pretty quick. 
will gradually lift your left leg. What happens if you do the both at the same time? Yeah. It just switches back and forth. Okay. So, okay, you gotta lift it up before you move. Fine. Mm -hmm. That's doable. It is an amazing sense of balance. This is going to be interesting considering I'm very used to a trackball mouse. Oh, I would not want to play this with a trackball. <laughs> I'm not sure if that would help or hinder. You get a lot more mm. finite control, but it moves in all directions. Mm. So I'm not sure how that would pick up. No, we want to go for forward. <laughs> all right, what if we move that foot? And then that foot. <laughs> Has he been in the moonshine? Uh, possibly he is getting married. Move up, let go, hold on, move it, let go, switch. Now you need to find your tux. It's somewhere in this room. Is there a camera control or is it just you're it's, stuck with what it is. It's fixed. Okay. Well, presumably it's not in the corner that I can't see. Correct. <laughs> no problems here. Just a regular Joe looking for his tuxedo. As totally you do. not an octopus. Nope. That. <laughs> move it up. Move it forward. Move it down. I can never ignore a big red button. Hooray! Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there actually is music playing, but I've turned the music down just so... Oh, I oh. got a bit stuck on there. Those uh, noodly legs. Ah, uh, now we can hear the music now a little closer. Dressing room here. Uh, up. <laughs> okay. Hey, I see a tux. And I found this game interesting sober. Switch. Grab. Up. Grab. Are you going to hold on to that? Good. Yes, he'll hold on to it. <laughs> okay. This... Moving back is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> I want my trackball. Oh, slippery. I presume we're not going to go all the way back into the dressing room, since we have a key. And you broke the wall. Wasn't me. <laughs> that's a little down. And that's a little up. Now you need to find your bow tie. Oh. Such a lovely wedding chapel, too. As a proper gamer, I'm not even looking down at the actual commands anymore of <laughs> my objective. I'm just moving forward. Oh, such a lovely picture. Did I draw that, or is that just part of the church? That, I, I, well, it's framed, so I assume it's a... Uh... Sign in. Oh, oh, I I wanted to read that. Oh dear. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not going back for it. No. Uh -huh. All righty then. <laughs> no, you do not open doors with your feet. That is rude. No normal person opens doors with their feet. Hey, it's Cthulhu. Hey, this is the Church of Cthulhu. It is quite interesting, isn't it? A little brighter than I would have expected, actually. Let go of an object while moving your arm to hurl objects. Well, it is a Church of Cthulhu, so I guess it's acceptable. 
the, the, the Church of Cthulhu is nice and bright to throw people off. Oh! You broke it. Wasn't me. I like how you threw yourself instead of throwing the wedding presents like you're supposed to. Why would I throw the wedding presents? Those are perfectly nice wedding presents that people got for me. I'm certainly not going to re-gift them. I want the... <laughs> no, no. That's behind me. <laughs> the tie is behind you. It's on the table. And I'm moving backwards towards the table. Fine. <laughs> Can we face it a little better? I'm not even close to that, but you're highlighted, so fine. I'll take it. Now you have to put it on. Up. Back. There you go. Get past the hall door. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm with my feet. Oops. <laughs> I'm sure an attendant will put those back. Uh, it's fine. It's it's fine. Yeah. There are already presents on the floor. It's fine. Event this way. Let's go this way, then. What's with the vents? That's a uh, waste of energy and good, power. Good ventilation. Hold right click to move your mouse. Scroll real to ways. We've done that. That's nothing new. Just in case you've forgotten. Okay. Since the dressing room. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Let go. <laughs> Lower your arm. Formal tire only. Well, we're all set for that. Yep. We've got the tie and everything. And it's a bow tie even, so, you know. Oh! I think Octodad is a Time Lord. Oh dear. Careful. Camera angle. I can't see what's going on there. Should have opened the door. I did open the door. The door is open. <laughs> Leave more gifts there. Right in the middle of the hallway. Ooh, a hat. Shall we go for extra fanciness? Up. Grab. Up a little more. And then over. Damn door. Boom. Boop. Now let, we are truly... Let, let go. No. <laughs> let go of your head and everything else. <laughs> And then we do we that. Are truly a dapper Octodad now. Oh dear. I didn't think he was ever Careful. But I wasn't even near it. You knocked stuff over. But I wasn't even near it. Be careful. But I wasn't even near it. You have to be careful. But I wasn't even near it. It wasn't me. He must really be nervous. Watch out for the uh He's sweating to sacrilegious suit. bananas. Don't listen to them, honey. Cthulhu hates bananas. Why would you do that here? <laughs> she looks so beautiful in Hey, it's dress. my friend Bob the Fish. How nice of him to make it. Oh, oops. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that's fine. That, 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 I'm sure that's fine. I, I, that, 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 that's fine too. Don't, 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 don't even worry about it. I knew you wouldn't get cold feet. Of course not. You don't even have feet. Hey, where's the best man? <laughs> I ate him. Guess you'll have to get the ring yourself. Can't get good help these days, can you? Oh no. Well, at least it changes the camera angle for me. Right. That's nice. Can I you stretch that far? Raise it up a bit. Over. You may have to move a few things out of the way. What? No, not that foot. <laughs> what I need is, is to get a little closer. There you go. Raise it up a bit. And then mm. that. Are you going to trigger? You oh, so I got to give handsome. her the ring. Oh, yeah. Of course! Have you never been to a wedding? You must place the ring on your bride's hand. Actually, I, I have been not invited to more weddings than invited to weddings. Oh dear. Yeah. Also, sorry. Meh. <laughs> Understandable given the circumstances at the time. That was one of but 
hate I have purposefully not been invited to. It wasn't purposeful. Forgetfully. You can control Octodad here if you want. Oh, I turned the music down, but there's a really good song for this part. Are there any Steam achievements for missing all of those things? Or hitting stuff on purpose? There are no Steam achievements for this part, unfortunately. They missed an opportunity. Mm. There was an achievement to um, uh, put your best man on the altar for the wedding. The best man was the floppy fish. Ah. If you bring him over and put him on the altar, you uh, get an achievement. And there is an achievement to toss the ring onto Scarlet's finger from across the room. That would be impressive. I have not gotten that one. I got the fish one, but I don't have the ring one. And there are also, like, three ties hidden in every level, and you missed all of them. Well, they never told me that it was an option. Yeah, it's like a hidden Easter egg thing. Alright, <laughs> unfortunately in free play it won't continue directly onto the next level, but ah. if you want, you can get to the game. Home, comma, sweet home. Considering that your time on that was over half an hour compared to five minutes on this one, I might need more than one shot. We can always get more shots. <laughs> and we're back. Alright. Time to get serious. Nah. And such a lovely painting, too. <laughs> <laughs> Very classy. Octodad is a sophisticated da dad upon town. Well, he even has a top hat, so... And such a wonderful white loading screen. Hmm. It reminds me of how much I need to clean my monitor. <laughs> He looks hungover. Mmm. Hasn't had his coffee yet. Mmm. Get to the kitchen. Better shut off that alarm clock first. I do like his bedroom. Are you get okay, camera angle. Hey, it's an alarm. It is two PM. Who set this alarm? <laughs> Aw, family photo. Of course. Your beautiful wife and your two mm -hmm. darling children. Oh! I never noticed that painting on the wall there. Kind of glad that's in the bedroom and not <laughs> the family room or anything. Paint me like one of your French squids. <laughs> Why squids? What squids are in this game? Uh, none, but it's the same number of syllables as girls, whereas octopus is three times as many. Aha! Hey, look! Dad's up! Morning, Daddy! What do you mean, morning? It's 2 p.m. Mommy? It even Dad? says 2 p.m. on that clock. Can I borrow your flashlight later tonight? Why? If you put your finger over it and turn it on, you can see your finger bone. Awesome. Oh, get to the kitchen. I should pay attention to those things. <laughs> yes, the kitchen. Is everything okay in there? No. They're asking about flashlights. <laughs> and they think it's morning. Up. Nice to see you, sleep. Who has a fireplace in their kitchen? <laughs> Have you seen my Salty Hearts novel anywhere? Classy. Hush you. Of course. Now you need to make yourself some coffee. Well, I am thirsty. Can't start the day at 2 p.m. without coffee. Might need a trim soon. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Honey. Did you read my latest article? Oh, of course. He was the mayor, and I tore him apart. Verbally, Literally? I mean. Oh. 
Okay. My typewriter is out of ink. We've got more somewhere, right? You need the coffee grinds. I didn't push the button. <laughs> I'm working on a little side project, dear. I'm oh. going to expose corruption in the fishing industry. And Good for you. Just the ship to sneak aboard. Oh my. Oh, oh. never stopped me before. Camera angle. You dropped the coffee on Camera the angle. <laughs> In a way, it's good the basement flooded. That's the table. so much more time with us lately. There you go. There you go. So, I was stargazing last night while you were off in your man cave, and I snapped a picture of some strange lights. It's Presumably there's water in here. Lens flare, but Yay! Coffee brew. While you're waiting on your coffee, could you bring Stacy some milk? Your daughter Only needs milk. Hmm? That reminder, seems unrealistic. Two weeks from now, <laughs> I'll be out of town on an assignment. Good for you. Well, your wife's a newspaper reporter. You know Sherry from the book club? They don't really specify what doctor they eating a whole wedding cake. And nobody was getting married. Oh, my. Such gossip. Slander! So are we just bringing her the whole jug, or are we getting her a cup? They, put it on the cover. You should pick they didn't uh, specify. Just, just bring her the jug. Well, I can't she has a mighty thirst? <laughs> yes, she has a mighty thirst. Your daughter wants to be 100 feet tall. She can't do it with just a glass of milk. Fair point. I heard some crashing from the living room, mister. Uh-oh. You know I just cleaned it last night. Uh-oh. Oh, Camera honey. angle. How could I stay <laughs> Why are you on the other side of the room? Oh, who opened this milk? Daddy, will you get me a unicorn? <laughs> How about I give you the milk first, You'll and then we talk? Ah, uh, she's, she's got a cup. She's got it covered. Oh. She's, she's your kid. She's smart. Good. Are you gonna tilt it? Dad. There you go. Thanks for the milk, Oop. Dad. Soon my bones will be made of steel. Your coffee is ready, mm -hmm. sweetie. Yay. <laughs> no, you know what? We're gonna be polite. <laughs> polite. Proper? Yeah. I don't want the chocolate milk to spoil as <laughs> you pour it all over the living room. Oh, Ooh, donuts. Oh, that sleepy Octodad face right in the camera. <laughs> Lower it a bit. And... Damn trackpad or lack thereof. No! We're doing this. <laughs> I know you can reach in there. You can get closer. You can open the door more. No. You can pull out... Oh, there's sushi in there. Want some sushi? First, the milk. <laughs> Up a bit. Down a bit. You fit in there. Drop it. There you go. Nope. <laughs> no. No. There you go. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> oh, sleepy Octodad. He really needs that coffee. Oh, you even poured it in a cup for me. How nice of you. She's a loving wife. I made your coffee just the way you like it. Sea salt and tartar sauce. Yummy. Well, now you're all refreshed with your cup of coffee and ready to start the day. Go out in the backyard. No. We don't do that. That's rude. <laughs> Dishes in the sink. We're a polite father. Whatever. <laughs> now that you're energized, I need you to take care of some chores in the backyard while I get some work done. Okay. To mow, weeds to pull, wood to chop, and don't forget to make burgers for lunch. You can check all of your objectives, hitting escape button, yay. Mm. Right. 
Don't get too comfortable, dear. I've got a busy day planned for the whole family. Right. What you a said. Surprise. So how about we grill up some burgers for the kids? So we have to do this in order then? So strange. Nope. Why as long you as you do that, them all. Dear? But if the burgers I are right fly, here. I would just fly to the moon and live there. Gotta open up that classy grill. Dad, are hamburgers really made out of ham? Yes. Yes, they are. What if they were made from ponies? <laughs> hmm. Sphere Largest in the world? <laughs> we'll just see about that. There you go. Grilling burgers. Like a good Octodad. That looks done. You don't want to burn them. Yeah. You just got to put them on the burger patty. <laughs> Mom, Dad said we could get a horse for the backyard. It'll eat the grass and be our new super cool furry lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, we need a battle horse to protect the family. Dad said we could get one. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, sure. Sure. Sure I did. My camera's getting a bit old, honey. Any chance you know where to find an M1 modified for motor drives? Next door. <laughs> sure the neighbors won't mind. Nah. They're cool about it. Boop. Delicious mm -hmm. burgers. Three bankruptcies since opening in 1960. Two directors in the last year. Yikes. <laughs> I'm totally paying attention to what you're talking about. Oh, no, we can do better than that. <laughs> I said oh. we can do better than that. Oh. Five second roll. Yeah, <laughs> still good. Well, that clown looks like a butterfly. That one looks like a dragon smashing the town. Good enough. <gasps> good enough. Can the town have a wizard princess in it? Good Lady Stacy defends the town. Hooray! Just don't ask for tops to those burgers. Weed the garden. Weed the garden. Oh, it's such a there it is. Day today. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. The worms are wiggling. Probably. Yes, even worms are happy to be outside today. You have such wonderful children. Now just pick the weeds. Dad, you have to blow on the weeds and make a wish. Sometimes I wish I could be purple. Shh, only Wells and Genies <laughs> grant wishes, Stacy. Everyone knows that. I'll just put that there for the moment. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, all those Lady seeds are, are really getting out of hand this season. Can I reach I that from here? Before they eat nope. My flowers. Apparently, I can reach that one though. There you go. Now I can reach. Kinda, kinda. You might have to move that other one. Yeah, just throw it over the fence. Just, just throw it out right, right out in the, right the street. In ear, there we go. Your head. That's true. That can't be true. Oh, it's true. I don't know what she said. Oh! My flowers. Oh, you did it. Wasn't me. <laughs> hey. No one saw a thing. Alright, now you gotta get the mower. Like a good dad, you have to mow the lawn. I'm sure with someone with your paycheck, you must have, like, a really fancy electric ride-on mower that will get the job done in a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah. Stacy, right there in that shed. you pouring ketchup in your brother's drink? I'm just trying to make a potion. Oh, there you go. Well, dear. There it is. I've got a book on chemistry that'll teach you to make real potions. Well, my potion's oh. already real. <laughs> and there you go. Super duper lawnmower. Yay. <laughs> Well, There's they need to eat, too. Good at... But we're thinking. Well, I would mow the lawn, but I hurt my knee at basketball practice, and my elbow at baseball, and my foot at... <laughs> yeah. I think some of my army men are still buried there. 
Too bad. Yes. Of course I had to. Do you want their bodies lying all over the house? Children logic. Eh, he's got a point. Mm. I wouldn't want to step on those in the middle of the night. Almost as bad as stepping on a Lego. Almost. Almost. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got that. Nice. And then we backtrack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. That's your foot. <laughs> Didn't hurt. You are a tentacled foot. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, it's just a normal foot. Yeah. Regular, average, man foot. Like any husband would have. Yeah. Totally not a tentacle or anything. No. no. That, that would be silly. Can you reach it? No. No. Not quite. Oh, so close. <laughs> Physics! <laughs> so close! <laughs> oh! 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 oh. There nice! You Don't do your wife's flowers. She might get a little mad. Well, that wouldn't be the sanitary. <laughs> you are. Well, nope, you're not an octopus. If you were an octopus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice! Now you need to chop some firewood. Oh, and look, butterflies. Put it on your head. Up a little higher. There. There you go. There we go. You got a butterfly clip on your head. Every level has like a weird little thing that you can put on your head or your face. Oh. Huh. Like the hat or this butterfly clip or glasses and stuff like that. I presume I'm going somewhere over this way. Because I haven't seen firewood. Not that I've been paying attention though. Hey, there we go. Camera angles. Now to chop some firewood for that kitchen fireplace. Yes, yes they do. How much firewood do we need? All of the uncut needs to be cut. I said let... oh. <laughs> Drop it. Turn around a bit. <laughs> Perfect. Good enough. That's exactly how it works. Just lightly tap it with the axe and it just splits right in half. Yeah. I mean, I've chopped plenty of wood before and it goes exactly like that. And like that. It automatically writes itself. Yeah. Camera angles. <laughs> Forward. Down. Uh, just a lovely little tap. Drop. Nope. Yep. Up. Over. Hooray! As my... Oh, there he goes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Aww. Look what I did. Only 20. Sure, it was more like 16. Hang up the birdhouse. That's easy enough. Yeah. I can reach that. A nice, simple fix up. Yeah. No, no, nothing will go wrong at all. Those are horrible looking little gnomes. Why would oh. I have those? I, I bet it was your wife's idea. Ah, uh, fair enough. Grab it. I'm sure you wanted fish or something. Lift it. There we go. Uh oh. No, not the chef. Stop uh -oh. the chef. Ah. Uh -oh. uh -oh. You will be caught down. You become your bugle. There you go. That's what you get. Good thing those gnomes Honey, were there. Honey, what's mm. going on over there? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Nothing at all. Just putting up. Everything's fine. Hmm. 
That was quick. Anyway, I have a surprise for the whole family. Yay! A free trip to the aquarium. Yay! <laughs> no. <laughs> I know you think aquariums are festering prisons of iniquity, but I've got to write an article for the paper. <laughs> Can't you make an exception this time? Mm. For me? No. Hmm. Oh, uh, groceries. Yes. We need to go to the grocery store. Yes. We need things like cereal for the kids. And more burgers. For kids. Well, we already have cereal. We need so much cereal. And well, so, okay. We're all going to the grocery store. Oh, hey. Such a lovely hair clip. I want sports. Mm. Johnson cereal and pizza yes. and soda and chocolate milk. Yeah. We have I chocolate milk. Apple. Uh. <laughs> They're your kids. Will it actually load the next level or will it go to the menu screen? Survey says... Menu screen. And there we go. And apparently I shaved 12 minutes off your time. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I did not find any ties though. They're not easy to find. <laughs> There's one on the tool shed. I think you might not be able to see them because I have them already. Okay. So they might not even be there. Hmm. Excuse me. There's one on the tool shed that's a real pain in the butt to get because you can't quite reach the top of this tool shed from the ground. Oh. And climbing that little ladder slide next to the tool shed is not as easy as you might think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So there we go. Two levels down. Two levels down. Several more to go. <gasps> You're not even dressed. Make yourself presentable. She's waiting for you. Totally inconspicuous. Hmm. Just a regular average Joe on his wedding day. Move the mouse to control Octodad's arm. Okay. So that's just back and forth. Yep, just move it around and you have to clear all that crap off the table. It's not more of a bench than a table. Remove the cushions. Why are we sitting down? Click left to grab, left click again to drop the held objects. So, okay, you just click and it holds on to it. Oh dear. That's good, so you don't need to hold down when you're clicking playing Octodad, essentially from the beginning. Yes. This is on my computer, and I've already beaten the game, but... And away we go. The story of Octodad. He's just running late. He's always late. Hopefully the sound volume is all right. Hopefully. Mr. Groom, the wedding is starting. Are you ready? And this is not our first drink of the evening. Uh, this would be our fourth? One, two... Three? I've had one shot already and two glasses of Valleys. This would be my fourth. I think I've had three shots of the Cranberry mm -hmm. Moonshine, which was only 40 proof. Only 40. This one's 100. Yes. So, basically our fourth drink of the evening. And I already have my fifth one up. Mm. <laughs> I do not. But. We can always get you a cherry. Hmm. <laughs> but yes, so you're going to attempt... So, theoretically, this is recording. The first recording of Full Coverage Writers in 2015. You're here. God help us all. As you can see, we have Octodad, Dadliest Catch, set up. I have never played this. I have no idea what I'm in for. 
Actually, I do know what I'm in for. <laughs> what I'm in for first is a shot of 100 proof cherry wi uh, moonshine, not whiskey. Yes, it smells like cherries. Oh, it does. It smells delicious. It ha It is packed with cherries. A lot of cherries. Does not taste like cherries. The cherries don't taste like cherries. No. The cherries taste like burning fire. Much like what's on the screen right now. <laughs> I'm actually beginning to wonder if this is what snozberries taste like. Snozberries. That would explain why the children didn't like it. Yes. <laughs> and why Willy Wonka would have them. Mmm. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Mmm. Gotta please the Oompa Loompa somehow. <laughs> but yes... The shot first, and shot. then we figure things out. Are we going to actually do it like a shot, or are we going to sip it down? I am. Shot it? I am. Okay. I tasted a little cherry in that one. Yeah, it's when you're chewing on the cherries that yes. it goes downhill. The shot is better than the cherries itself. Yes.